Hi everyone, we are going to do a video now on how we shape, how we hand shape pizza dough. So these are my 50% hydration dough balls, so the very basic recipe, um, very easy to handle as you'll see. Uh, these are refrigerated overnight after shaping them yesterday. Uh, they came out of the a fridge uh, three hours ago, so they should be nice and ready to go. So you can see they look lovely. and. So now we're going to hand shape and I'm going to cook these in home oven, not the pizza oven, the home oven. So I've got my oven on at 220. Now I have a pizza stone in the oven. So if you have a pizza stone, great, use that. If not, I'm also going to do one on one of these trays. Uh, we just pop the tray on there with a bit of polenta um, cornmeal on the bottom there. And we're going to see how that goes now. You won't get quite the rise in the crust in a home oven as you do in a pizza oven um, unless you use a higher hydration dough but we're going to use the 50 percent hydration dough because it's really really easy to work with okay so i'm going to show you how to shape it we're going to make a pizza or two and see how they come out okay first things first we need just move our tray over here so cornmeal on the board so just to help it not stick to anything okay so we'll grab ourselves a dough ball okay here we go you can see nice and springy pop it on okay now I always put just a little bit of cornmeal over the top okay just to help it out now here is the technique pat it down a little bit make it a bit bigger okay now we're gonna get our fingers and you want to leave a little ring of dough around the outside that you never touch. Okay, so with your fingers, just press in. Okay, start with them like this. Press in and just press down. Okay, then pick the dough up, turn it around, do the same thing again. Fingers in slightly. Okay, press down again. Turn it around a little bit press down, turn around, press down. And you can see our dough is getting bigger now. Okay, every time we press it down, we're making it bigger, but we're keeping our ring of crust. Okay, so with our fingers, turn it down, take the cornmeal in, so you've always got something on the bottom of the pizza. Okay, now when you get it, to a reasonable size, okay, you can start to stretch it. Now, there's various ways to do this, okay. Some people pull and flap it about. What I tend to do is pick it up, so pick it up and hold it by the crust part. So you've got the crust part in your finger, and then you can't see this very well on the camera, I know, but then just literally pass it around. Okay, through your fingers, feed it through like you're trying to find the cord in a pair of tracksuit trousers. You know, when the cord goes back into the waistband. So feed it through like that. And as you feed it through, the weight of the pizza pulls it out a little bit. Okay, we end up with something slightly bigger. Then, what I tend to do, we've still got our crust here, look. Then, you can just start to sort of shape it. So each hand like this and just pull it apart a little bit. Okay, and then do a bit more and as you start to do it you'll see that it starts to get bigger now you can put it on your hand okay and slightly pull it apart if you want as I say this is the 50% hydration dose so it is very very easy to handle okay so that's the size we've got okay so as we can see fits nicely on our tray okay what size is it in all honesty I don't know you can decide which size you want to do you can keep stretching it for as long or as little as you want okay so this will make a nice crusty pizza okay so just pull that a little bit more okay see a couple of bubbles in the dough there so that's good right so next thing we need to do is build our pizza okay so I've got my tray 
what I'm going to do is core mill on the tray okay just to help it stick shouldn't stick because these are the trays that have got the holes in uh, again get them from uh, online retailers Amazon eBay probably I think Lakeland maybe I don't know you'll find them somewhere also great for doing chips chicken nuggets things like that because it's got the holes in the bottom of the tray you get heat through the bottom of the tray as well so you get the crispy underneath don't tend to need to turn the stuff you put on the tray as much as chips or something like that anyway incidental right sauce this sauce is my simple sauce okay literally it's a can of chopped tomatoes that has been drained and blitzed in a well in just in one of those smoothie blenders actually and we just end up with just chopped tomatoes now there are recipes online 100 ingredients two hour cook time yada 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 if you want to do that you want to go down that route that's cool that's you know it's it's your choice right you can do whatever you like okay this is very this is this is how to do basic basic pizza okay so can of chopped tomatoes drained and whizzed up pizza dough okay so give it a little stir two spoons in the middle of sauce get your spoon in the middle and lightly don't press all the way down lightly just move in a circular motion okay get back to the middle move out again okay now you want to make sure you're leaving tip that a little bit off there make sure you're leaving the space for the crust okay here we go there we go right so we've just put our sauce on there look at that huh almost like a pro right okay now this one we'll do what should we do let's do pepperoni so again uh, pepperoni just supermarket pepperoni again there's a million types of pepperoni isn't there right and you can try different ones as you go along this is just stuff from uh, oh, I don't know Sainsbury's I think Sainsbury's Sainsbury's pepperoni right so you build it up put it on any way you like really can't you this is just a quick dot around of some pepperoni lots on there nothing worse than a pepperoni pizza that doesn't have pepperoni on it okay cheese now again cheese oh cheese what a thing cheese is you can put all sorts on get all sorts okay I'm gonna do a video about cheese and things what I'm using today is just some grated mozzarella from the co-op okay just because it's easy easy and this is what it's about okay all right so grated mozzarella again in the middle and just go out to the edge make sure you're leaving the crust okay and again you know you don't want to you don't want to over cheese it but you know the last thing we want is under cheesed right you know those pizzas you get and you get it and you think did i ask for it with not any cheese on it because that looks awful right there we go okay so mozzarella on and it's as simple as that now we just transfer it onto the tray so it should be easy to transfer because we've got the cornmeal on the bottom of the thing and it's an easy dough to handle so literally pick it up by the edge drag it across onto the tray okay here it is on the tray okay we just move that corner out of the way. then we can just reshape it okay and it'll take some reshaping because again easy dough to handle okay oh i've smudged that bit there there you go dear that's not good is it there we go it'll be bad on the instagram won't it okay so we're going to put this in the oven and when we take it out we'll see how long it takes i think probably eight minutes but we'll see okay um let's go okay next pizza again need to shape it first move that spoon out of the way this one we're going to do on the pizza stone in the home oven okay you can see here i've got some puree garlic okay so we're going to do a garlic pizza so again just going to shape it so fingers in boom 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 okay turn it around there we go normally i would probably have some music on now doing this but obviously recording can't have music on i wonder what i'd have on probably Mm, the white buffalo the dead south something like that 
maybe even well I don't know it depends on the mood doesn't it anyway so here we go you can see look nice little nice little bubble there with dough okay so we're looking good all right and again this is the easiest dough to handle okay so we're just going to keep doing this now I'm going to put it up I'm going to hold it I'm going to feed it through like I'm trying to wire a speaker system Oh, come on, get it through there. There we go. That's got some nice bubbles in it, this one. Okay. So then I'm going to shape it a little bit. Okay. And again, just leaving that edge bit. Okay. Again, you can take it, you can pull it, pull it. And see how easy this dough is to use. Look. Okay. And before we know it, we're there. Okay. One dough ready to go so this one's going in on the uh, piece of stone okay so get that on there. now again garlic pizza you know there's any number of ways of zhuzhing it up and all that okay we're just going to do simple simple so here we go in the middle garlic puree easy as pie all right buy this stuff anywhere all different brands so squeeze that on and again how much garlic do you put on well how much garlic do you like simple as that back of the spoon down on there smudge it about you could use a pastry brush for this but i tend to find it gets caught in the bristles and then you end up buying more garlic puree than you actually end up using so i'm gonna take this out to the edge of the crust. So I'm still going to have the crust on it. I'm taking it out to the edge of the crust. Now I'll tell you why that is. My son doesn't like the crust on a pizza. So with his, what I tend to do is roll it thinner. So I use a roller. That's okay. No shame in that. And I roll his pizza dough thin so he doesn't get a visible crust. Okay. Um, otherwise he just ends up leaving half the pizza. He loves garlic pizza. So why don't I roll it thin? So he gets more of it. Well, chef's privilege. If I cook it this way, we get the crust on it. He won't eat the crust, which means I get the crust, which means I get more garlic pizza. Shocking, I know. So, garlic paste on there again, however much you want. Now for this one, I'm gonna use, this is Sainsbury's, I'm gonna use grated again because it's easy but this is cheddar so we're going to put some cheddar on now again controversial maybe but you know listen this is the thing with pizza you do what you want to do right it's you eating the thing isn't it right whoever tells you on the internet to do this or do that or put this on or put that on sod them all right it's your pizza you're eating it not them all right we're also going to put some mozzarella on okay the same co-op mozzarella there Okay, so two cheeses on there. Again, I'm going up to the crust on this one because, you know, the boy might eat some of it, but he won't, and that just means I get cheesy crust. You see, my pizzas, my rules. Okay, so for this one, we need a pizza peel. So, I have my pizza peel that I use with my Gosney Rockbox pizza oven that I use outside. Okay, we're not using that today, we're using the home oven, but we still need to launch our pizza onto the pizza stone in the oven. So, again, a bit of cornmeal on the pizza peel. Okay, just stops the dough, any sticking issues, any of that. Okay, so we're going to pop this one onto the bit, and again, just fingers underneath and just lightly just drag it on. Okay. Can reshape it if you need to now if i give this a little wobble see no sticking okay so we're going to pop that in the oven again i think about six to eight minutes and we'll see how we go okay eight minutes later one on our tray not stuck to the tray cooked what do we think what do we think of that i think that looks pretty good should we give it a slice up and see how we're going? Okay, so we can see if we lift it up here, we can see it's got a nice crust on it, look. Okay, 
just give that a chop up. Okay, and let's see what we're looking at. Huh? Now look, I'm going to try and actually chop this thing. That's probably a good idea, isn't it? There we go. Right, so look at that. Huh? That's a decent little bake for a home oven, don't we think? That's eight minutes on one of those trays in the home oven at 220 degrees. Simple dough, simple sauce, pepperoni, store-bought grated cheese. Yeah? Can't get simpler than that, really. Let's see how the garlic one does on the stone. Okay, here we go, garlic pizza. There we go. Now, eight minutes, that's on the pizza stone. Again, you can see, puffed up nicely. Nice little crust on that, nice little air pocket there. We just slice this one up. Oh dear, that's not quite in the middle. Deary me. Slicing's not going well today, but you can see. Here we go, look. Lovely, lovely crust on there. Okay, again, you know, air pockets are not what you're going to get with a higher hydration dough or any of that business. But I'm telling you, home cooking, home oven, easy to handle, easy to hand stretch. We've seen that. And you end up with a gorgeous pizza you're happy with. Eight minutes in the home oven, either on one of those trays or on a pizza stone. Um, let's roll out one of these thinner ones uh, like I do for my son. So just get rid of that one. Just pop that one on a tray over there. So let's roll one out. Okay, so we get our cornmeal in. Okay. So last one today. The roll one out. Again, we are going to put the cornmeal on the top because we don't want it to stick okay so again rolling pin <gasps> the sacrilege the sacrilege of a rolling pin on pizza i know i know but i'm telling you you go to pizza express they're rolling everything out all right all right but what you can see is we don't get the visible line of crust it's all the same it's all the same width so we are going to have a bigger pizza here because it's thinner right we don't have that line around it which gives us the big puff of crust so we're not using all that all that dough is not being put into a lovely lovely crust for dipping in garlic mayo or whatever okay we just what we've got is one thin pizza okay but you know it's like the kids they want what they want and that's fine isn't it we all come to things late in life honestly you wouldn't believe some of the crap i ate when i was a kid mind you i was a kid in the 70s and most of it was crap back then okay so here we go let's build a pizza okay so again tomato sauce simple one here we go one two a little bit more two and a half because we're going up to the edge it's a bigger pizza okay so we're just gonna do this now this we just go around and around and around like i say make sure you get the because when you get to the edge just pull it in a little bit so it doesn't go off the edge onto your nice clean board again you can do this all in one motion you can swoosh about a bit yeah you find your own way don't you okay but as you can see look we're going right up here okay no crust on this one so my son will eat all of it and not leave any on the plate leave no visible crust yeah right there'll still be a little bit left because there's still a crust dad even though there blatantly isn't anyway there we go right pepperoni again pepperoni store bought you know loads of different ones out there like we say so you know the other cheeky thing of course is that he gets more pepperoni doesn't he yeah he gets more pepperoni because it's a bigger pizza 
And you know what? I'm not going to begrudge him that. I'm really not. There we go. Add the pepperoni son. How about it? Why not? Oh, it's a spare piece there. I might eat that. Mm. Yeah. Can't argue with pepperoni. Right, cheese. Now, again, do what I like, right? Mozzarella. I am going to put some cheddar on this one because, again, my boy likes it. You know, he likes the, the stronger taste of it. You know, you're making pizza for people. Give them what they want, right? I mean, we ain't going to get into pineapple and things on this video um, because, well, you know, therein lies a whole can of worms, right? Do you put pepperoni on a pizza? Although, I will just give a brief shout out to my brother-in-law who told me the other day that he once put watermelon on a pizza. I'll give you a moment to let that sink in. Watermelon on a pizza. And he told me it was delicious. So you know what? I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to come up with something. A little recipe. Yeah, a bit of cheddar on there. A little recipe that we can put some watermelon on. See how it goes, right? See how it goes. So if you're listening, Chili, I'm going to do the watermelon pizza for you. And if it's dreadful, I'm going to tell everybody where you live. Okay, so there we go. Pepperoni thin. Okay, we're going to put this one on the pizza peel, I think, and put it on the stone. So again, bit of bit of cornmeal on the peel. Okay, just to just make sure we can get it off. Because with the peel, you put it into the oven, and then you just whip the peel away, and it pops onto the uh, stone. But we'll, we'll do a thing on the technique of that when we show you the rock box. Grosny Rockbox pizza oven. Okay, so again, just fingers lightly underneath. Pull it across. Moves easily because of the cornmeal. Again, redistribute any of the toppings that have slid about a bit while you do it. Give it a little wobble just to make sure you can get it off. And we'll put this in the oven. Eight minutes. And I'll show you it in a moment. Okay, there we go. Uh, eight minutes. Actually, I think a bit more than that. Ten minutes this one was. Uh, in the oven, this is the thin one, as we can see, thin, crispy pizza for the boy. Now, if you're using a pizza stone, uh, you may have to wait for it to reheat a little after each pizza, so that takes a little longer. Um, in terms of the eight minutes, this one was ten, because uh, the oven had cooled off a little bit because I cooked the others. Um, every oven is different, every type of cheese is different, every sauce is different and things. So um, keep an eye on them, it's not an exact time, but it's around about that for each pizza in a home oven. In the pizza oven, in my Gosney rock box, it's about 60 seconds, 90 seconds per pizza, okay? But we'll get onto that in other videos and see that. But we can see this, there we go, thin, crusty pizza. Okay, so you can do it either way, it's a good manageable dough like I say so that's the basic dough the 50% hydration we'll do some high hydration doughs uh, in other videos um, and and check the results of those and see how they differ to the lower hydration one um, that's it if you've enjoyed the video remember like and subscribe and I'll see you again for another video sometime bye bye